we're excited because Haley Arsenault is with us exclusively, her first official interview as a civilian astronaut. Haley, I'm actually more concerned about your mother than I am about <laughs> you watching Colleen. She seems... She's, she's fine. She's fine. <laughs> so you break it down. Give us the moment when you got the call, and of all the people on the planet Earth, you were one of the ones selected. It came out of the blue. I knew that um, St. Jude wanted to talk to me about an opportunity. I had no idea it would be this. And basically, they just asked if I wanted to go to space. And immediately, I said, yes, yes, put my name down. And um, I am just, I could not be more excited about this opportunity. We just are in love with your mom when she said, honey, how many astronauts are going to be on that spaceship? And you're like, none, mom, none. Um, but I also got to ask you about your brother. He's an aerospace engineer and I, I, your sister-in-law, too. I mean, is he like offering you his firstborn to trade places? I mean, they must just be so happy for you and just wishing they could do it, too. They're so happy for me. And I think it's because we're so close. And they've had a lot of fun with all the questions I've had for them and getting to teach me all this aerospace and like all this rocket science. Well, you know what's cool? Something you said in the piece struck me. You said what you'd been through. You battled cancer when you were younger and here you are today. It kind of weirdly prepared you for this moment because you know what real being real scared is. Mm -hmm. And this is different than that. Yes, I I absolutely think that it prepared me for going to space. And, you know, it really taught me how to expect the unexpected and to go with it and keep a positive attitude. And um, and so I'm just in a weird way. You're right that it did prepare me for this. And I feel ready. And I love how you have already given back to St. Jude. You made a decision when you were just a little girl that you wanted to be in this work. And now you're back. You're a physician <laughs> assistant at St. Jude. And this whole mission is really about those kids, kids like you, who are, are battling cancer and giving them hope. What do you think, what message do you think you'll be sending when you, a cancer survivor, head off into the heavens? I really hope to show them that the sky's not even the limit, that they can do mm -hmm. anything. I never thought I'd be able to go to space. And really until this mission, um, you, you really had to be physically perfect. And this mission is changing things. And getting to be a cancer survivor in space is such an incredible honor. And I can't wait to talk to my patients about this and just to show them that they don't have to limit themselves because they can really do anything. Well, no limits at all. And I was also reading that you like roller coasters. So <laughs> you, you're not scared of that kind of stuff, are you? Oh, no. I'm, I'm so excited. We start centrifuge training next month to get ourselves ready for the G-forces. And I cannot wait. All right. Well, we're going to be taking care of Colleen while you're up there. Okay? <laughs> exactly. So don't you worry. <laughs> we'll hold your mama's hand. <laughs> Thank you, Haley. Thank you. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.